Hi, this is Elle, and thanks for watching Short Bites, your book review podcast, putting a face to your book reviewer. Now, the first adult book that I'm going to review is called Certain Girls by Jennifer Werner. I'm reviewing the audio format of the book, which includes 12 CDs that run about 14.75 hours long. So the book took me about two weeks to finally finish. The book is the sequel to Werner's first book, Good in Bed. Now, Good in Bed follows 28-year-old journalist Candy, Candy Sharpiro along her love life, her family drama. She finds out her ex-boyfriend, while they were just on a break, wrote an article about her called Loving a Larger Woman, like it was a chore to love someone larger. So, in this book, it follows her after she gets back at the ex-boyfriend, after she gets he gets her pregnant. This is where Certain Girls comes in. It takes place 13 years later, where you found find Canny with a 13-year-old girl named Joy, and she happened to marry the doctor in the first book who is in his 50s, and she's trying to work out her relationships with her mother, her estranged father, and her sister who got into a little trouble, but now she seems like she's on the right track. So Certain Girls' premise is it's dealing with Canny's husband, Peter, wanting to have a legitimate child before he gets too old. However, Candy had a hysterectomy when she had ex-boyfriend Bruce's baby, Joy. So, they're gonna have to hire a surrogate and go through all that drama, but Candy doesn't know if she can do it. So the book is dealing with that aspect of, do they want to have another baby? And it's also dealing with her 13-year-old planning her bar mitzvah. And a lot of family relationship drama. Werner does do a great job describing the tension in the uh, mother-daughter relationship. When I was listening to it, I felt like I was there in the room and at times you could just empathize with the character, with the mom, but then another time you empathized with the daughter. And you just wanted them to realize that they both loved each other and just stop fighting. <laughs> um, this CD was good to listen to because each chapter is told by the perspective of Canny. And then the next chapter was told by the perspective of Joy, her daughter. So in the book, they have two different narrators, a girl and also a woman. So it really feels like they're telling the story. However, I feel like this book doesn't succeed in the chick lit genre. Her first book, Werner's Good in Bed, was excellent. It was a book that I couldn't put down and I devoured. This, eh, I didn't really like so much. I felt like it was more for a book for a woman in their 40s. Um, it's not really chick lit, it's more about family drama. Um, and it had a lot of religious undertones. They talked a lot about the Jewish holidays they were going through, all the aspects of planning the bar mitzvah. So it was something that I really couldn't relate to um, as far as reading the book. It was an interesting read. It's not something that I absolutely hated and didn't want to finish. Once I got started, I wanted to see how the relationship between the mother and the daughter worked out. However, I felt like the ending was very, very rushed. And all of a sudden, Werner throws in this twist that really didn't need to be in the book. So it is a tearjerker book. And you will need a pack of tissues with you or whatever you use. Um, the ending is very rushed because I remembered all of a sudden it ended. And I was saying to myself... Is that it? And I rewinded a little bit and I wanted to hear maybe I missed something. No, it kind of just ended. Um, but it did end on a positive note. Um, not going to tell you how it ended. But if you haven't read Good in Bed, I recommend you read that book. And if you really enjoy it, I recommend you at least try Certain Girls. It was a good drama, but again, it's not to be judged on chiclet. It's not a fashiony book. It's not really fun. It's more family, drama, mother-daughter estrangement. So overall, I kind of can't give this a thumbs up, can't give it a thumbs down. I'm just somewhere in the middle. So I'd love to hear what you thought of the book and stay tuned for my next book review.